What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So let's let's get to this one, y'all, man. Um, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, Logan Paul, man. Happy birthday to Logan Paul, by the way, and happy birthday to Randy Orton. Both of them had birthdays here on April the Fools and uh, April Fools Day, and um. This this match right here, this is one of the matches I was definitely looking forward to because I felt like it was one of those matches where it could it could steal the night, be the 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 match of the night. Unfortunately, we unexpectedly got like three matches after this that were match of the year type can. Well, Dom and Ray not so much, but Dom and Ray was probably a little bit better than this one just because of the storyline coming into that feud. Uh, but definitely Rhea Charlotte, which was my match of the night. And then the Usos in the uh, and Sami Zayn and KO was like spectacular. Also because of the storyline too with them. But it was a really good match though. But this was a really good match too. Um, definitely one of the best of the night. And I think it's going to hold up well against the matches tomorrow. But Logan Paul, man. Let me just say this about Logan Paul. This dude could go in that ring, bro. He is a natural at this. The only thing I think with, with with Logan Paul that we need to see, we need to just see this dude like do a full year as a regular, full time, you know, wrestler in the WWE, like no part time. Like if this dude could do a full year and be kind of wrapped up in that U.S. title division, that would be nice with Austin Theory and Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes in the future and stuff like that. Like, bro, that'd be really cool, man. But let me go over the last of this matches a little how it goes. So. We're gonna talk about KSI in the next video. I got I gotta talk about how K KSI was a part of this man. Uh he because he, he was a mascot and you know, Paul, you know, was using his buddy and business partner KSI to kinda get kinda get an angle on um Seth Rollins and it didn't work this time, bro. <laughs> Rollins took Paul into the ring. So after that, so after their plan backfired because what happened was was that on the table spot Rollins was down that he woke up and placed KSI on the table that Logan ended up smashing KSI. So that took KSI out of the equation. That dude didn't get back up after that. <laughs> he was wondering where he was at. But Rollins took Paul to the ring and hit him with a pedigree. Rollins went for the cover. But Paul kicked out at the last moment. Rollins hit a uh, rolling elbow and then hit another to the back of Paul's neck. Rollins went for the stomp. But Paul hoisted him up and gave him the GTS. Paul went for the top rope and performed a frog splash for a near fall. And then uh, Paul had Rollins uh, seated in the corner of the ring. Um, Paul went up to the top and dove across the ring and had uh, Rollins. And then he who super kicked him in midair. And then Rollins performed a stomp finisher on Paul for the one, two, three. And they got about over 16 minutes with this. So. This is a classic for Logan Paul, bro. Like, Logan Paul is one of the few celebrities that has ever come to the WWE and look like a natural in the ring. Like, I don't even know at this point if you could count him as a celebrity or more. Like, he, like I said, if he was full-time, he'd be already one of the best wrestlers in the on the roster. He's that good in the ring. It was like, this dude was awesome, bro, in this match, man. Just straight up awesome. Let me go to the poll and we get the results for that so I can wrap this up. Show y'all how y'all voted in this one. So I basically asked y'all who y'all thought was gonna win between Rollins and Logan Paul. 192 votes. Uh, Seth Rollins at 85%. So y'all really didn't give Logan Paul a chance. Y'all ended up being right. So cool stuff, man. And like I said, I think he can hang. If you can hang in there with Seth Rollins, bro, who's one of the best wrestlers on the roster, bro, you know you got it. And he did that today. I think. Today was the day where I think any WWE fans that had any doubts about his wrestling ability, it, it went away. Or just pro wrestling fans in general. Today was the day it went away because he deserved all the respect that he deserved. So, uh, thank y'all for voting in the poll, man. And, um, yeah, we're going to talk about KSI next. So, I'm going to go on over there. Give me y'all thoughts about this one. Hit the like, share, subscribe on y'all way out of here. Thank y'all for watching. After news, the like.